The BR. Um, the battle. Ro yeah, the battle royale. I'm thinking about doing the battle royale. Um, I'm gonna play it with some friends. I know some friends wanna play it. I'm probably not gonna play it, take it too seriously. I'll just play it like for fun. But I'll probably do a couple rounds of it and mess around. I might stream a few, a few goes of that. But for now, we've got Roger versus Dylan's for winners round one. <clears throat> So we'll be seeing Day to Day versus Little Mac of all things. Uh, you know, I, I don't even know what to say about this matchup because I've literally never seen it. You know, I was just like, there's not a whole lot to say. Are we on FD but Hero Stage variant, or is this actually? No, yeah, this has got to be that the Hero Stage variant because we didn't start on the walk off. But uh, interesting choice of flavor for the stage. I like it. So far, that hammer really giving Dylan's a lot of trouble getting in. But we'll have to see how long that continues to be for. Oh, that command grab from day to day is going to be a big problem in this matchup too, just because you can't, you know, can't F smash through that. Dylan's kind of taking his time, trying to see if he can get Roger to be the one to make a move. He just slipping. Yeah, see, look at that. Just as I was saying it, he was waiting at that distance, trying to bait out a Gordo, and as soon as he that Gordo came out, ran right under it for that KO punch. That's clever. Right, it won't work twice though. Roger's ready, gonna be ready for it now. That's one of those things where it's like, oh man, like you got me that time, but never again, never again. But you know, if he can hold this ledge down like he has been, he won't need to. But on, oh, I just went a little bit too far out. Little Mac, not known for uh, his recoveries. Another KO punch, or not? Was it, was that KO punch, or was it up smash with the armor? I don't know. Little Mac freeze frames like and does like the freeze frame zoom in for literally any reason. I feel like he has like. A whole bunch of different stuff that will cause that to happen. Roger keeping this juggle game alive here. Oh, down air connects with the Gordo too. Roger like pulling out the fancy ledge guards. Okay, if that killed, I saw that KO punch come out, and if that had killed Roger as he went out to edge guard, that would have been I would have been a little upset. Oh no. We just almost saw a classic Alpha Rag clip right there. But instead, Dylan's gonna get the roll through forward smash and even this game up. You know, it's it's. Uh, I was half expecting when I saw Little Mac to see like your classic Wi-Fi Little Mac. It's like you know, F smashing everywhere and just like running in and throwing random side B's. But Dylan's is like, you can see he thinks about it. Like he's thinking about the matchup. He's thinking, when do I want to run in? You know, he's not like trying to constantly press the aggression. I respect that. He, instead of shielding the Gordo, he just up tilted it. What a what a madman. Sees a ball full of spikes coming at him, and he's like, I'm gonna punch it. Don't worry about it. That up smash whiffing though has oh, been a problem for him twice now. Will KO Punch kill at this percentage? I think that's the first thing on Roger's mind right now. But he's setting up for that hammer ledge trap. Iframes were off on the ledge. I didn't know that hits the ledge. That's news to me. I, I, probably news to Dylan's as well. That's 1-0 uh, going over for Roger to begin with. I have zero kid in the chat. No, don't hold on to that ledge. Yeah, I mean like... I, dude, that, I would have gotten killed by that because I wouldn't have known. I would, I wouldn't have known that hit sledge. That, that right there, that's me dead every time. The first time. After that, then I'll know and I won't do it again. But that first time, I die. Game two. Where are we going? Pokemon Stadium. And this is Dylan's counter pick. I'm almost I'm kinda of surprised he didn't just want to go back to FD. Like I feel like that's just kind of the play for Mac, right? Roger seems a lot more aware of Dylan's as neutral this game, but <laughs> you know, you can only be so aware of neutral and play neutral and not be at risk of getting forward smashed armor right through uh whatever you're trying to do. Try to eat it up there. Dylan's actually really controlling the ground space here and just keeping uh, day to day of all people from landing. Not usually a character that has a ton of trouble landing due to those extra jumps that Nair. KO Punch is on the board. Are we going to see it? He waited for the tech roll too and got the KO Punch off of the tech. Dylan gets that first stock. This is a uh, repeat of that first game. Ooh, up B might have been just a little bit early. It was a little bit off target. Roger now has a chance to 
get into the driver's seat of this stock here and try to find this kill, but so far Dylan's has been doing a really good job of just finding that hit when he needs to and not getting tossed around, juggled, etc, etc. Is it buffering for you guys? It might be, um... It looks like it's... It looks like it's sending okay from where I'm at, but it could be a, it could be a problem on my end too. Let me know if it continues to like buffer if you guys are hearing this. You may also need to turn the source video quality down because my uh, source video quality is running in like 1080 60 frames right now, I think, or 720 60 frames. I don't know, maybe just 1080. I forget. But while I was working on that, uh, Dylan's able to finish up a stock. Still has a stock lead here, and it's just about a full stock lead. Excellent counter, Did, you know, switching it up even, like mixing up from trying to forward armor, or forward smash armor through stuff, and just counter armoring through stuff instead. KO punch though here, gonna whiff. That, you know, it's a little painful, because you don't have a way to just end this stock right here, right now, like you could, but at the same time, Dylan's is healthy enough that he conceivably gets another, maybe gets another one this life. And if he doesn't, can definitely get one on stock three, so it's... Dylan's has a uh, very marked advantage right now. Roger's got to play very particularly, very safely if he wants to bring this game home. But he's always got that game three as well. Oh, that back air too. Usually he just has so much distance that, you know, that, that you're just kind of used to being that a safe landing option. But uh, F smash. Uh, not only was he at a good spacing to begin with, and F-Smash has so much range on it, but he also just, just stepped out of the way of the hammer because of the animation to find that stock. I wonder if it's maybe the Twitch server I'm sending to. It seems like, it, from what I'm seeing on my end, my connection is stable here. It's not throwing me any warnings in Streamlabs, but... uh. It wouldn't be the first time it was something I needed to fix. Ready? Yeah, dude, dude, the way that, uh, what's his name, Doc Lewis, Little Max Coach, like, makes me feel kind of uncomfortable, just like the way he's animated in this game. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know what it is, but it don't, it doesn't feel right to me. Alright, back to, uh, oh, I gotta update the score, the score here. But back to the uh, FD with the hero themes. This is Roger's pick, then. Which is, I, I find is kind of interesting, because, I I, again, like, I feel like, isn't this supposed to be, like, the Little Mac map? Because you got no platforms, you don't got to worry about nothing, but... We'll have to see how it plays out. Roger did win here game one, so... Roger playing a lot more careful, a lot slower this uh, first stock this game than he has been, just to make sure he doesn't take any unnecessary damage from armor, smash attacks, counter, things like that. But Dylan's still able to put on the damage regardless. KO Punch online and just immediately throws it out there. That's going to cost Roger a stock. This is probably the most measured game I've ever seen with a Little Mac. I'm used to seeing games with Little Mac where they either just like throw a whole bunch of haymakers and like just, you know, like Wi-Fi stuff. Or like the handful of Little Macs you see in like the big tournaments that just like are all over the place left and right across the screen and doing all these crazy tech chases. This is actually just like a, almost like a swordsman, like a, like a Marth or Lucina type of Little Mac. It's kind of wild. Oh, that range. So much range, that forward tail from Roger. Such a distance away. Just trying to make it back. Oh, he actually didn't have enough range to catch the ledge there. Dylan's was ready with a down smash to try to get the two frame if he did, but there just wasn't uh, enough vertical distance. Oh, and we got a KO punch online again. He's off stage though. Is he able to make it back at this point? He jumped off. He saw that, that same setup before from game one. He's like, absolutely not. He got off the ledge ASAP, but... Roger closing that kill out on the ledge, but Dylan's still with a two stock advantage here. It's a, it's a tough spot for Roger to be in. We'll just see what he's able to do to kind of pull it out. Going for the uh, the grab there, too. Some really good mix-up game going down.
And Little Mac 2 is a character with like frame data where it's like you're just you're really not gonna punish things against this character. Like you're not gonna whiff punish this character very often. There's just not a lot that he uh, he doesn't have a lot of buttons that really have committal. Like, even there, like that was a full forward smash. Like any other character, you have time to run in and grab that man, but Little Mac just turns around, and just hits you with that low startup F tilt, and you're getting knocked back again. Like and unfortunately for Roger, that's like one of his only real options of day to day. Dylan's closing the gap there out of nowhere. Just getting aggressive. He'll take the set 2 0. 